Hi, this is Mr. VPN, and today we're going to test Pure VPN. To tell you the truth, their sign-up process was a bit complicated. I had a bit of trouble verifying the payment. So if you do sign up for Pure VPN, be aware that it may say your payment is unverified even though you've received the verified email. Eventually I did figure things out, and I received an email, and you can see here in the email they'll give you a list of what... VPN you want to download. So I'm on Windows. If you click the Windows button, it'll take you to this area. So I guess it doesn't matter which one you click because they're all listed here. You can see iPhone, iPad, and the router, and Linux are going to require manual configuration, but Mac, Windows, and Android will have apps or software. And this is my first time using the service, so I do not know what's going to happen. Yeah, that's a good thing about PeerVPN is they, I know they do have servers, or they do have services that work in China. Not all VPN services work in China because of the firewall there. So everything is running very fast. There seems to be quite a few steps involved, but I can't complain. Installation was fast. Setup is going okay. So let's just wait for the software to launch. Okay, so let's explore the software here. First, here we have a country selection tool. So this is really nice. Canada, US. So I think they're up to about 18 country locations now. This is a nice option here, connect to the fastest server. So it'll choose automatically to see which server is fastest for you. You have a list here. I'll zoom in here for the video. This is cool. You can choose why you're using the VPN. I have never seen this before in any other service. So we have privacy. Streaming from the US, streaming from the UK, streaming from Canada, also for gaming for these three countries, unblocking websites, security and anonymy at better speeds. Okay, so these will probably be the difference. This optimum security and, and anonymity for better speeds would probably be PPTP, and higher security and anonymity would probably be L2TP IPSEC, or maybe SSTP if you're on. Vista Poker and VOIP. So you can basically optimize your VPN. That's great. Okay, let's optimize for US TV watching and gaming. Choose US and connect. We'll explore some of these other options in a bit. We need to enter our username and password. Okay, so I will enter the I'll pause the video and enter this. 
Okay, so I've entered my information, and let's connect. Okay, we're connected. That was a, a bit slow, a bit slower than other services I've tried. I can't say it was terrible, but we'll go with average. So this information up here will tell us whether we're connected or disconnected. Our actual IP, our IP address that we've been assigned on the network and how long we've been signed into the VPN. Let's give it a test run. This is actually audio, so we'll uh, get something more interesting. There we go. So streaming is not a problem. You can see down here the video is starting to load faster than we're actually streaming. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's see how normal browsing goes. Okay, not bad. So let's see what other options we have here. Let's disconnect from the VPN. So even though I haven't done a speed test and I can't tell you officially how fast it is, I would say pure VPN is pretty good, maybe in the top 70-80%. Probably not the fastest VPN I've used recently. I've done quite a few reviews lately. Not the fastest, but it's good. But this software is really good. So let's try something in the UK. UK, connect now. Wow, finally connected. Okay, so actually connecting to the VPN server, unfortunately, I have to say it's not great. Pretty slow both times. Let's, now we want the iPlayer. Let's see how streaming goes on the iPlayer. Okay, again, streaming is not a problem. You can't really see how much is loading here. But there's no buffering, so I can't complain about the streaming. That's fine. That checks out. So before this review drags on too long, let's see what some of these other options are. Split tunneling. So that way you would use split tunneling if you wanted to use the VPN with some software or some browsers and not in other browsers or other software. So for example, you could use the VPN for your gaming but not for browsing. Or you could use the VPN for browsing and then use your original IP address for your VOIP. Some options here. Redial automatically, it's pretty standard. Auto connect after launch, that's pretty good. 
and launch system at startup. So if you want to, if you're connected to the internet all the time and you don't want to forget to turn on the VPN, you can use some of this stuff. Some different encryption options. And some more advanced things down here. This is not really important. This shows you your plans and support. So this shows the logs. So if you ever have problems with the VPN, you can make a ticket or start the live chat. And then you can give them the logs so they can help you figure out the problem. So for my overall review for Pure VPN, I would say connecting to the VPN is pretty slow. The VPN runs really well. And the software is awesome. You can't beat this software. So if you want to read more reviews, you can go to mrvpn.com. Whoops. And if you want to read more about Pure VPN, you can go to mrvpn.com slash purevpnreview with a space between Pure and VPN. And you can look forward in the next weeks to my speed test with Pure VPN, and I'll test more with their higher encrypted servers and lower encrypted servers and see how things go. Try some different IP addresses from around the world.